the breather is connected with the conservator tank like this. When transformer is working on full load condition, lots of amount of heat is produced inside the winding. The oil in the transformer is filled with the two purposes. The first purpose is to provide insulation and the second purpose is to absorb the heat from the winding. When this winding are heated too much, the oil in the transformer absorbs the heat and it will try to cool down the windings. But on the other side, that oils get heated. When the oil gets heated, its density becomes low and because of its low density, the oil will move in upward direction and the cool oil has higher density and that will move in downward direction. The low density oil even moves to the conservator tank and because of the higher temperature of this oil, it will expand. When it expands, it will occupy more space in conservator tank. So the remaining air in the conservator tank will move outward side. Up to here, everything is fine. But when this oil again cools down, the level of oil again reduces and when the level of oil reduces it will suck the air inside and fill in the conservator tank but in this period the air which is flowing inside the conservator tank that is not only air there is moisture content and dust particles mixed with that air so when that moisture air mixes with the oil it will create issues with the oil what are the issues? When moisture in the air mixes with the oil, it decreases the dielectric strength of the oil. And you are well aware with what if the dielectric strength of the oil reduces. It creates lots of issue for transformer. The other problem is it accelerates the aging of insulation on the winding. Over here you can see the windings. But this winding, each of the conductor is insulated with the insulation paper. It will increase the aging process of that insulation paper. And both these issues are not good for transformer. So for transformer, this moisture is a big, big villain. So what's the solution? Whenever there is a villain, there is a hero. And in our case, the hero is this breather. This breather plays the role of hero when we are tackling the moisture. So now let's deep dive into the breather. This is the breather. This is the connecting pipe through which the breather is connected with the conservator tank. Here there are top lead and bottom lead. And in between these two top and bottom lead, there is a transparent cylinder. In this transparent cylinder, a silica gel is filled. This is the real image of silica gel. Silica gel can be used for many applications. Just imagine that your mobile is synced in the bucket and it is fully wet. So now if you want to dry your phone, take a bag of silica gel, put your mobile phone in silica gel bag for a day and the next day your full phone will be dried out. It is even used to prevent your silver from getting tarnished. And it can also be used to protect your leather item from any moisture. So if we cut it short, silica gel is used to absorb moisture. So this is the main use, the main purpose of silica gel, to absorb the moisture. The blue color of silica gel represents that it is fresh and ready to absorb the moisture. But if the color of silica gel is pink, it is saturated. It cannot absorb any moisture further. It is reusable. So when the silica gel is fully saturated, you can do some heat process, some heating treatment and you can reuse this silica gel in transformer. Now here is the air inlet through which air flows in and out through the breather in the conservator tank. And then the finally, the last item is oil cup in which the oil is filled. Now let me take you through the working of this breather when the oil gets cooled down and it reaches to its original level, it sucks the air, it tries to pull the air inside. And when this happens, air flow through this air vent into this oil cup. The oil is filled in this oil cup. The purpose of this oil is to filter out the dust particle and solid particles through the air. 
then followed by this filter air enters to this cylinder when air flows through this cylinder there is a silica gel the moist air flows through the silica gel and this silica gel adsorbs the moisture from the air remember that it adsorbs the moisture not absorbs the moisture basically the meaning of adsorb is the water molecules in the moist air get adhered to the surface material that is the meaning of adsorption let me show you this is a silica gel and you can see it is a porous material there are small holes into a silica gel piece when air flows through this porous material the water particle get adhered in this porous holes and it will remove moisture from the air so when this silica gel keeps on adsorbing moisture from the air it will slowly turns from blue to pink and when it turns fully pink it is saturated it can no more further adsorb any moisture and this air keeps on moving in upward direction and enters into the conservator tank so this is how a breather works and there is a quick question for you that what is the color of silica gel when it is fully saturated try to write the answer in comments below and let us check whether you have learned this thing from this video or not if you want to learn different topics on electrical engineering then you can definitely visit my youtube channel learning vibes to understand the construction and working of transformer you can check out this video there is a separate playlist for dc machine ac machine transformer all those things so all those things you can check out at your convenience so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye